<laughs> this is a little insanity. Um, we're uh, we're moving the uh, the bakery. All right. My name is Michael Dolich. They call me the Chalaman. I got I got the back. And uh, I'm baker. To open up a a bakery, you know, where if you have three or four employees, you know, you got an investment of maybe three, four, five hundred thousand dollars just to get open. And then when you get open, you don't have any customers yet. You have to make cheaper bread. Then I don't. I'm not really sure how they do that. So I decided I'm just going to start small and develop a very strong customer base. Develop some amazing formulas and recipes. I'm really trying to grow it slowly. It's started in the kitchen. It's gradually moved into the basement, and for a year and a half, I've been operating the bakery out of my house. We've been renovating a new bakery space on Chestnut Street for over a year now. <laughs> it's been a long journey. Finally this week it's ready. Yep. You know, it's real mixed feelings about the bakery leaving. Like we, That's okay. we're really gonna miss it and it's a really nice relief that it's leaving. I had an empty bakery. <laughs> How's it feel? Fine. I'm relieved, it's nice for the, a little sad. I'm really reinventing what a retail bakery looks like. You know, it's not the kind of bakery where you walk in and there's fully stocked shelves whenever it's open. It's more like this is the bake schedule. This is when the breads are coming out and it's just there till it's sold out. If you compare it to like Amoroso's, you know, they got a quarter of a million rolls a day coming out of that thing. They brag about that the bread never touches human hands. And people seem to love it. They eat, they eat a lot of those rolls. A quarter of a million a day. You know, you have to develop a relationship with the dough. You know, there's live organisms in here. And it sounds a little crazy, but like, you got an ecosystem that you're taking care of. And you raise these yeasts and then you kill them off in the oven. You know, once you start eating this bread, you, you change your concept of what bread is. Um, the pellet co-op is basically a friendly environmental service that we use bicycles to haul um, recyclables, helping people move, and other stuff. I use Pedal Co-op because they're, I want to get the community involved in this and they're, they're really out in the community and when he, when he kind of suggested it I was a little bit shocked thinking oh my god there's no way I'm going to be able to do this by bicycle but then I, the more I thought about it the more I'm like what a great idea it really fits what I'm trying to do which is trying to, um, oh my god there, there it goes. <laughs> I have a plan to kind of go carbon neutral and starting the new bakery this way is really very symbolic of really what I'm trying to do with the bakery. Make it sustainable and make it relevant for the new era and the new economy that we're, that we're moving into. It's not legally set up as a cooperative, but I really feel that the, this bakery is everybody's bakery. Like, it's, I, I, I want to provide bread for, for this neighborhood. You know, why not start moving things around by bicycle instead of cars? You know, I'm trying to make bread without using a lot of machines too, so it just makes sense to, to use bicycles. Just like food today is so anonymous, it's so impersonal. It's, it's nice to have food that's where you know the baker. So, you know, I, I used to be a lawyer. I couldn't make a lot of money being a lawyer. I started out doing a lot of personal injury and then I started doing domestic violence cases. Then I became a mediator and I was doing a lot of mediation work. Didn't know why I wasn't happy with it because it was really interesting and I was good at it. But, but looking back, the problem with the law practice was sitting in an office all day long. I couldn't stand it. And I didn't know that was a problem at the time, but now that I work on my feet and I'm moving and I'm working with my hands, I love it. Like, I just think the human body is not designed to sit all day long. Yeah, food first, I got look at this oven. Oh, that's only three seconds. It's little midget That's the oven. Check out this baby. Steam injection. Brick, brick interior, <laughs> wall to wall carpet. It's been really nice to operate the bakery out of my house because it's very little boundaries between work and 
just living. So now now I'm gonna have to go to work every day. So it's gonna be a different kind of kind of feel. But you know, everything's and it makes sense just to be in a, in a real commercial space that's designed for a bakery rather than designed to be a basement. <laughs> now the real work begins.